All right, so in this video, I'm going to take my Hutu TripMate Titan, use a Cat5 cable, connect it to my router, my home internet router, and then I'm going to have the Hutu TripMate Titan broadcast its own Wi-Fi signal. I'm going to connect my computer to that, and then we'll run some speed tests, and we'll get to see, you know, how what's the quality of the internet. So again, that is the router, my home router, connecting to the TripMate Titan through Ethernet cable. The TripMate Titan is going to broadcast its own internet signal, and then I'm going to connect to that. So we'll sh I'll show you the setup and then how I do it. So stick around. All right. So first I'm going to start out by connecting the Cat5 to the back of my router. It's nice and in there. Then connecting Cat5 to the TripMate. So I think everything's in there. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Now, now we'll go see if we can see the default network name and get connected to it. Okay, so we have the Hutu TripMate Titan hooked up and it's broadcasting its own signal. We can find that right here. This is going to be the default network ID, something with TripMate Titan in it. That's all you need to look for. So I'm going to quickly run a speed test on my home internet, on uh, home internet work, so that you can kind of see what kind of speed I'm getting, and then we'll do another test on the trip bait. This is through Comcast, so supposed to be getting 25. But. All right, so now we're going to connect to the TripMate's Wi-Fi, and just to kind of show you how simple this is. Because it's connected through the Ethernet cable, I'm already online. You don't have to do anything. So we can run a speed test. It's already working. Now it's through the default um, network ID and network password, which is eight ones. And you can log in as an admin with no password. So to get to the admin screen, let's see what you know, what kind of speeds we're getting. So we're getting around the same speeds. That's awesome. You go to 10.10.10.254. That'll get you to the setup screen and configuration screens for the TripMate. There is no default password for this, so just admin as the user, and then you're in. Now, if you had some sort of uh, network attack storage, such as a flash drive or a little, uh, you know, a hard drive or something, you could easily see the data that's on there. But we're going to go into settings and we're going to go to network settings and Wi Fi. So we'll go ahead and change this so that we can make it more personal and then we'll make a password that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight instead of the eight ones, just so we can kind of see that for a test. I'm going to go ahead and save this. There's other settings you can do in there, such as the channel. You could change that if you were, you know, trying to make it a little bit uh, better for your area. And you can turn off the SSID, the broadcast of that. So if you say you just wanted to have this with some sort of network attack storage, you just turn that on. No one can see it. It's not broadcasting its ID so people can connect to it. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We'll see what happens. Now, my experience with these devices, once you change a setting, you're going to disconnect from it and you're going to have to reconnect to the new, so you can already see YouTube test there. Let's go ahead, connect to that, see what happens. It's gonna ask us for a password. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I type that incorrectly when I was configuring it? Looks good. We'll run another speed test. It's even faster. I don't know why, but we're, we have internet connection and it's not horrible. So we can go through some of the other settings here and just see if we see anything. That's all. Let's see what internet is. So we can see that it automatically detected the wired, wired, wired access. You can change the, uh, the type of access, the IP, static IP, dynamic IP. Um, we're not going to get into that. But as you can see, we're on the internet. It was really as easy as having the, tar the Titan charged or plugging it in. I, ha I went with having it charged, running off its internal battery, uh, which is 10,000 milliamps and then attaching it to some sort of 
router or you can attach it to a cable modem if you want to, but it's that simple and you're up and running. So if you were just in a hotel or something like that, you don't even really care about security. You just want to get multiple devices online. Boom, just plug it in. You're good to go. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Also rate and subscribe so you can catch more videos about the Hutu Titan. Uh, I'm going to try to do more Hutu devices and then more different configuration styles with it and different ways you can set it up. Also, I have an affiliate link for Amazon in the, in the description for this Hutu Titan. Please click through that if you're going to get one or if you're going to get anything else just to support me. Thank you very much.